my personal favorite, Moncala, because I always win. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the packing process for our camping trip. And we leave in two days. By the time you're seeing this, we are already camping, but we have been going to the same spot since I was a baby, since my mom was a baby, and now we're carrying on the tradition with our girls as well. And it's an awesome spot that we camp at on the beach. So we can't wait, we're excited for our annual trip. And I've pretty much gotten this packing thing down to a science. So I'm gonna take you along and maybe give you some ideas of things that you can pack on your own camping trips as well. So I'm just gonna show you the list that I make real quick and then we'll get started. But this is kind of how I do it. And I break it up by category of what we're gonna bring with us. Clothes, toys, dogs, we have two little dogs that we bring with us, sleep, shelter stuff, personal care stuff, other stuff, and then food prep and food items as well. And the blue dots are the items that we have already packed. We have them out in our house ready to go. The red items are things that my sister and her husband have that they're bringing because they go along with us as well. And the Gray items are either duplicates or things we just decided we didn't actually need. And then once we have them packed in the car, then I will take a highlighter and highlight them as well so I know we actually remembered to bring them with us. If you aren't already a subscriber, thank you for checking out our channel. My name is Jen. I would love for you to join us, so click that red subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with the toys and games and activities that we're going to bring with us. I'm going to put them in this little bin and um, we always bring a ton of cards with us so we have these little card holders for the girls because it's hard for them to hold a lot and we have jumbo playing cards, regular playing cards, Uno, Phase 10, the whole nine yards. We love to sit around and play those when we're at camp for the night. We also bring puzzles for the girls and I have a lot more than this but they have raided my stash and played with them so I have to <laughs> re-put them back in the bags but I just cut out the picture of the puzzle put it in a ziploc bag and put the pieces in so they don't get so they don't get ruined they love these little magnet dolls so I'm bringing those for them to play at camp as well as these mag formers the little squares and triangles that you can form into 3D shapes. And then cars are always a big hit. They make little roads out of them and play with those. We always bring a football and this year we have these flag football flags as well because we have a lot more people coming with us this year and there's plenty of people to make like a five on five football game going on down on the beach. So we grab those markers, crayons, coloring books, all necessities when you have kids on a camping trip, as well as sidewalk chalk. And then Bailey got these little sidewalk chalk stencils for her birthday so they can lay them out on the concrete and then color with them. And then for books, we let them each choose five books to bring with them for mainly in the tent at night when they're winding down for the night, getting ready to go to bed. So they each chose what they wanted to bring for those. And then the last thing that's going to go in this bin are these paint pens and rocks. So I ordered these paint pens off Amazon for Bailey's Christmas and July birthday. All of the kids decorated little ornaments with them. But the girls have been decorating rocks with them like every single day. So we're going to bring those with them. They can find some fun rocks down on the beach and use their paint pens to decorate. And then this doesn't really fit in the tote because it's a pretty big but we're bringing their sticker scenes so I just put them in a scrapbook but it's these reusable sticker pads and there's like nature ones and princess ones and city ones so they can sit at camp with the other kids that are coming and have plenty for all of them to do we always bring a lot of board games with us we're probably gonna need to <laughs> figure out probably put these in like a ziplock because it's like ripping but cootie is a favorite for the girls 
chutes and ladders. Candyland. Sorry. And guess who? And then the games that adults may be more interested in are my personal favorite, Mancala, because I always win. <laughs> As Anthony laughs off camera. Shut the box. This one's a fun one. Look this one up if you've never heard of this because it's super easy. You can literally just sit around a campfire and pass it along because it's just a board and two dice that is super portable and easy for literally as many people as you want to play. Weird things humans search for. Again, it's a new favorite of ours. We got this one probably within the last like, what, eight months or so. And we love this one. And then Yahtzee, it's a classic. You can't camp without Yahtzee in our family. And then Word on the Street, which is a kind of like tug of war word game that you can team up and play. And of course, Jenga. Jenga's awesome. Everybody can play it, super versatile. Kids, adults, doesn't matter. Usually the kids end up playing Jenga in the dirt and just like making zoo fences and car trails and stuff like that, but it works. Some of the other fun stuff we bring are obviously kites. We're going to the beach, so we're bringing kites. And then this paddle game with the sticky ball. That's fun to play. A ball. They come up with so many creative games with this thing. We learned the hard way not to bring it down on the beach because the wind takes it. But up at camp, we'll like sit around and just like don't let the ball hit the ground or whatever game they feel like playing. Then we've got the big prism kite, which this thing is awesome. It's fun to fly. It's a little scary because it almost feels like it'll pull you off the ground when the wind is strong enough, but it's so much fun. So we're definitely bringing that. And then knee pads. The bikes are in the garage still because it just kind of takes up too much room to bring it inside, but we're bringing both of the girls' bikes and helmets, of course, and then knee pads. Along with that same genre is Bailey's scooter that she got for her birthday. She's kind of learning how to ride that and loves it. And then Spike Ball is probably the most popular game we play when we're camping, especially at the beach because you can jump and dive and it doesn't hurt when you fall and dive like that. But I'll put a picture on the screen of what Spike Ball looks like and I'll also put links in the description to as many of these things as I can find. So if you're interested in any of it, you can you can look them up yourself as well. And then the last like activity thing that's not out here are the skim boards. So we have three wooden skim boards that Anthony brings to share with everybody. Those are pretty big and they're kind of dirty because they, they get sandy and stuff and it just sits in the garage. So I don't have them in here, but we are bringing those with us for whoever wants to play in the water. This has its own tote, but we're going to the beach, so you need sand toys. So these have their own tote. These kind of live in this tote and we have a sandbox in our backyard, so they play with these in our backyard. And I also put in here this throwing game. So we have four of these paddles and you catch the ball in it or not. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the kind of like tools and supplies and little like just utility things that we use. And some of these things my sister and her husband have that they're gonna be bringing. So I'll try to just let you know what those things are. But after that, I will show you what I'm bringing for the dogs. And then last will be the category of sleep and shelter items. Okay, so we're bringing a pump for the balls. And then we're also bringing a pump for bike tires. Then next, we always bring a hammer and a hatchet, obviously a hatchet to chop firewood up. And then a hammer to hammer in the tent stakes. This is our backpack that Anthony has had since high school. Um, but we keep all of our bungee cords and rope in here. Anthony's work gloves and the box cutter and things like that all stay in here. Bug spray is an absolute necessity and I have this pest off natural deep free stuff that I got in North Carolina when we were in the Outer Banks of North Carolina 
for my brother-in-law's wedding and um, it actually smells really good and it works pretty well. But then I also got these deep free bracelets that are supposed to keep bugs away. So we'll see if it actually works, but we are protected from the bugs. And then I got a citronella candle as well, just for like at the picnic table when we're playing games and stuff. And it's supposed to burn for 70 hours. So that should be plenty of time for like nighttime around the camp. For lights, we have had this old trusty handy dandy flashlight for years. I don't remember when we got it, but it still works great. And then we have this little one that works really well as well. And then we just bought this two pack of lights off Amazon for the girls and they're just like tactical LED lights so they can use them when we're walking to the bathrooms at night or to read books in the tent as well. We obviously have lighters to light the fire and to light our little tabletop grill that we have to heat up our food and then these flushable wipes which we don't actually flush because I don't really believe that they're flushable. I still think it causes problems but I have them to wipe off the picnic table with before I lay down the tablecloth and the seats because it's usually it's a wooded area so there's always a lot of like sap and stuff so we bring these along to kind of get everything cleaned up when we first get there to set up and then to wipe off the table that we use for food prep and all that stuff throughout the whole weekend. We have two lanterns in addition to the flashlight so this one's pretty big. Um, they're both Coleman and then this one's smaller so we usually keep this one for the tent to be able to kind of like hang up in the top. There's like a little hook in the middle of our tent where you can hang it so at night we can see what we're doing. And then this one we usually keep out on the picnic table for when we're playing board games and things like that. Um, and then we have, we have one tarp right now and we're going to be picking up another one when we stop on our way there. Um, because one this one goes under our tent and we want to have another one for covering up our wood and just kind of like if it for some reason rains it's not supposed to but if it does then we can use our rope and bungees to put up a tarp and be able to be protected from that while we're at camp and then we have our pump my sister has an outlet in her truck that you can plug in a pump to so we're going to initially inflate our air mattresses with that because it'll be faster but inevitably they will lose a little bit of air overnight so we just use this hand one real quick we keep it next to our mattress in our tent to be able to pump it up real quick before we go back to bed the next night i like things to be neat and tidy so we do bring a broom when we're camping and then the dustpan and hand broom as well because I like to be able to sweep out the tent. We don't wear our shoes in the tent, but it's camping, so stuff gets in on our clothes and the sand and all that stuff, and so I just try to sweep it out and keep it relatively clean while we're there. Plus, before we roll the tents up, when we are packing up to leave, we always like to make sure everything's out of it so that when we unroll it the next year, it's good to go. This is our cooler we're bringing for drinks only and maybe like condiments if we need extra room but again my sister and her husband have a big cooler it's one of the yeti knockoffs so it keeps things cold a lot longer so they're putting all of the cold food items in their cooler and in case i forgot to mention it we always meal prep together split the cost of groceries and just do it all together the four of us and our kids to make it just a little easier so they're gonna have all of that stuff that needs to stay cold in their cooler this will be for um, condiments if we need extra room and our drinks while we're there. And then these we like to bring extra steaks that I believe this bag's for our tent actually but these are just the metal steaks and they're a couple extra packs from our canopies that we have. These plastic ones don't always go into the ground like I mentioned it's sometimes a little hard so you need the metal one so we just bring extra so we have what we need for all scenarios. Now we're gonna kind of move to the food related type stuff. So we've got trash bags ready to go. And I just ordered on Amazon today. I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but I'm kind of excited. It's a portable like trash holder, trash bag holder. So I'm excited for that to come in. I have an apple cutter, one of the main snack type stuff and sides that we have are fruits and veggies. So I am bringing an apple cutter for the apples. And then I have two can openers and the reason why I'm bringing two is because sometimes this one doesn't work and sometimes this one doesn't work. So I figure between the two of them, hopefully one of them will work and we don't have to end up hammering a knife into a can to open it. 
because a lot of the stuff we're cooking is in cans over the fire. And then we've got plates, Ziploc bags for sandwiches, and forks, knives, and spoons. And then bibs, you guys. These are a Dollar Tree find, and I think I discovered them like three years ago, but they're so amazing. They're disposable bibs. It's six of them for a dollar, and they're so nice to be able to use and throw out when you're done. Um, I'm really just using them for Quinn because she still is kind of a messy eater. Bailey doesn't really use them anymore, but Quinn definitely does, especially for things like chili, which we're having while we're there. And then a cutting board and sharp knife to cut up fruits and veggies with. A spatula slash tongs grabber for burgers and hot dogs. A tablecloth for the picnic table and then a paper towel holder and paper towels we usually do this instead of napkins so we can just set it right on the table and people can grab it as they need it we have the marshmallow roasting sticks these ones my uncle made for us a long time ago um, it's the handles are made out of figured maple and so he made those for us and we still use them all the time with our backyard little fire pit and every year we go camping this is actually a little two-man tent, but we use it as a food tent because the animals will get into it if you leave it out, and we just don't want to have to like go back and forth to the vehicles to get food in and out of, and there's not really room in our big tent for food, so we just have a little two-man tent that we use to put like the food totes and drink cases and all that stuff in. And then our tabletop grill, nothing fancy, just a plain little grill to heat up those burritos. We also, it's right here, I'm not gonna take it out because it's kinda heavy, but we bring our wagon with us to bring stuff down and back from the beach that is by the campground. So I mentioned the dogs are coming and Ripley is on medication, so that's not here because we still have to give him his medication before we leave, but I'll pack that the morning of. Um, we have their food, their long-haired chihuahuas, so they don't, they're little and this, they won't even eat this whole thing over the weekend. And then I just have an empty one for water and I always bring one with a lid so I can fill it with water, bring it down to the beach with us and they can have it down there as well. Um, another Dollar Tree find are these disposable diaper bags. There's 75 of them for $1 and I use these to pick up dog poo because it works the same as the more expensive little bags that you can get in rolls. And then obviously their harnesses and leashes for walking along the trails. Okay, so now basically all that's left is chairs and shelter and sleep kind of situations. And then the car ride, we do bring these clipboards for the car ride. We do one for each girl and I'll just put blank paper on there. And then I put little crayons in their cup holders so they can color and draw pictures of what they see or whatever they wanna do while we're riding in the car. Back here, we've got our chairs. So Anthony and I just got these ones this year. We just ordered them on Amazon. It's the Kijaro brand chairs. So he got blue and I got gray. And then we have the girls' chairs, kid size chairs. These are just our tent poles. We forgot to put them back in. Um, we use this over the picnic table. We got this little, like, house thing to keep the bugs out from the picnic table and that is amazing to have then we have our four sleeping bags this is anthony's bailey's mine and quinn's this is our tent which is heavy so i'm not going to take it off the table but i'll put a picture of it if i can or link it it's amazing it's one of those cabin eight person tents and we can fit all of our air mattresses and our suitcases and have some room to walk around. So it's definitely nice to have. And then last, we have sheets for all of the air mattresses. And then we have a queen air mattress and a twin for each of the girls. So that is all the stuff. We always make sure we blow up all the air mattresses every year before we go. We set up the tent, make sure there's no mold anywhere, make sure everything is still usable and didn't get holes in it or anything like that throughout the year. Oh, and... We have this giant soft-sided um, rooftop carrier. So we put all of the 
like air mattresses and sleeping bags and pillows and blankets and all of that soft sided stuff will go in here on top of the car so it saves space inside. I am gonna be vlogging while we're camping so if you wanna see the camping trip, definitely subscribe because that's gonna be going up next week. So you'll get to kind of see how we do things while we're camping and all of those games that I just showed you, you'll get to see them in action. Hopefully nobody gets hurt because they can sometimes get a little physical. So that is what we pack with us while we're camping. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching till the end. Let me know by commenting, spike ball looks fun. That way I can thank you personally for watching and supporting us. Stay tuned for next week's vlog, which you'll get to see all of this camping in action. But for now, remember to stay humble, be kind, and we will see you next time.